Aha! Uh -huh. There you are. A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live, the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone is watching. Lots and lots to talk about tonight. I thought I'd just pop up and say hi to every single one of you. You will, of course, need to spread the word because it's completely ad hoc and ad lib, of course, as always. So you will need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Live on Facebook Live, just for you, dinky do, as we go into the season, as we approach Christmas time. Very, very important. A very good evening to every single one of you, of course. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone is listening to. And uh, I see lots of you are there. That's quite fantastic. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you're watching Scotty McClure Live. Make sure you've set your notifications so that you don't miss a second of the world's top talk show. It's there for you. Good evening, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Good evening, Steve. Lovely to be with you tonight. Of course, this is Scotty McClure broadcasting globally just for you and saying dinky do. And uh, lots of you watching, Jonathan Morton, Johnny M. Linney, Andrew Carey and Walker, Keith Watherspoon, excellent to have you all with us. Welcome, 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 I see. We have so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. So there we are, Ralph M. Monk Jr., happy holidays, happy holidays to you, Ralph. I might just be able to like that live. There we are, excellent stuff. And uh, hello, McClue. New specs, yes, absolutely new specs, just for you, Dinky Doo. Listening to you in East Kilbride on the train. Pretty, I can't play it through the PA system, says Stephen Menzies. Thank you, Stephen. That is very much appreciated. You are a fine fellow, and uh, I hope you're comfortable on the East Kilbride train. Very, very important. Hunter George, Dinky Doo to you. A very good evening and a very warm welcome. Stuart Anderson, hello to you, Dinky do you're watching scotty mcclue the world's top broadcaster live on facebook live as we speak and a happening says jonathan brown happening to you jonathan what is happening lala excellent stuff robert devlin hi lord hello robert i was sorry to hear you'd had a problem last night robert with uh, with uh, some vandalism i send you strength lots of love to you and your family that sort of thing is unacceptable behavior and apologies from the universe and from the people of scotland uh, you're loud and clear in upper station the international space station says david gardner well there's certainly lots of spacemen out in uphall there's no doubt about it is it uphall or youthful there we are. There's a discussion. You on every night, says Gordon Sterling. No, Gordon, I just uh, took it ad hoc because uh, last night was so successful. I thought I'll pop up and just see what everybody's thinking about it. You, of course, decide. You are the ones who make or break. You are the people with the power. It's fantastic stuff. Scotty McClue accepts applause or derision on his merits, and you all decide. Appreciated, Scotty. Thanks very much, says Robert. Not at all. Patch the Belters, says Russell McKenzie. Mary Carty is watching Dinky Doo. Come back to our school, says Jonathan. Dinky Doo, Jonathan. Hope you're good, Scotty, says Robert Brolly. Jerry Carty is watching. Dinky Doo, Jerry. Lovely to be with you. Spread the word, of course, folks. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. Uh, Shug Plunk is watching Dinky Doo, Thomas Dreghorn. Um, one night a week's fine, says Gordon Stilling. Yes, I agree, Gordon, it's absolutely more than plenty. But you probably heard the tragic, tragic, tragic news that we lost Sunday night's broadcast. It just floated away into the ether. So we did a broadcast last night, and you seem to be rather chuffed. So let's hope you're not dischuffed tonight. Uh, are we having a new party, Scotty? Get the tunes on, says Thomas. Russell McKenzie, 
Why did you leave? <laughs> I have to go somewhere else. That's the thing. Very, very important. McClure is in demand. Uh, nice hat. Uh, thank you very much. Welcome to the Specky Gang. So there you are, Martin. These are just standbys. My glasses, as we spoke last night, actually fell to bits in front of me. So there you are. And the only ones I could find in the drawer were the, um, the, 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 the little ones there. But look. See if you recognize my impersonation. Right, for the men in Wilson, come on you, stupid boy. So there you are. Anybody recognize that? Who am I doing? So there we go. Uh, who am I doing? You're doing fine, thanks. Um, is this live right now, says Peter Martin? Yes, Peter. We're absolutely live right now as we speak. We could not be more live. So there you are. Uh, terrible news, Robert Devlin, says Neil. Yes, thank you, Neil. Excellent. I'm sure Robert will be very grateful of your support. The squeeze box again, says Robert. Absolutely. And um, Alistair Bajax watching. Hello, Alistair Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClure. Can't everybody share, 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 share. Also, right click on the URL at the top of my page, send it round to everybody and get everybody setting the notifications to say, please notify me when Scotty McClure is live. Arthur, says Gordon Sterling. Yes, that's right. Uh, a, f a marvelous film and of course a great king. So there you are. Did you pull the sword from the stone? Gordon, uh, I ask her. Uh, Russell says, Fraser, how's it going? Fiona McClure is watching. Doogie Bond, lovely to have you with us. Uh, Gregory Peck's bonnet, top clobber, Scotty, says shove nothing but the best clobber for McClure. No expense spared. There are a lot of my clothing is actually coming back in. I can tell you that, along with some of my jokes as well, I find. Share, 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 says Peter Martin. Excellent stuff. We've just popped up. Quick pop up. Uh, Martin McCain, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live in the big one. Facebook Live. Can I have lots of thumbs up and hearts and all sorts of jollies? So there you are. If you've got access to emoticons, emoticons, <laughs> then let's have some of them. Uh, emokians. <laughs> Fraser, how's it going? Share, share, share. Absolutely, Martin McCain. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. <clears throat> Bit of a surprise. You're watching Scotty McClure the first lord of the internet, and the world's top broadcaster. So excellent stuff. If you've got some comments, please feel free to come on and make them. Alex Glass is watching. Dinky do, Alex. Lovely to have you with us. Cassandra Augustus is watching. Hello, Cassandra. How are you? Do let us know where you're watching, folks, because this broadcast is absolutely global. So there you are. So you'll get it right across the world. And uh, I would hope you would share it right across the world. If you've got a big following, then this is the program for you. Get sharing and sharing and sharing. Now, I've got all the gear. <coughs> Pardon me, touch of the lorgy in the last week or two, so you must just forgive me. Uh, I've got all the gear in front of me here. Uh, a wee bit of the Christmas chist. The kist of whistles. And uh, I'm going to see if I can see this broadcast live coming up here on the computer and we will share it so there we are yes there's my clue so what i'll do is i'll share 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 right now as we speak um so there you are sorry it was a little bit misty last night somebody had obviously put an oily paw print across the camera so there we are i shall share uh, to a page there we are let everybody know we'll share to the scotty mcclue page and that will tip everybody the wink that will give everybody the nod worldwide so there we are now if i can just move you lot over to there just now and you can just sit quietly then i can watch you as well at the same time keep an eye on you see that you are behaving scotty mcclure there we are scotty mcclure uh, excellent stuff and uh, that's coming up there that's beautiful that we've got a sort of a thing that's called autofill here. That's pretty good. Uh, Scotty McClure, that's excellent stuff. And um, I shall just say live. Uh, yes. Now. Yes, there we are live now. 
Uh, just for you. What about that? That's rather nice. Okay. For you. Scotty McClue, live now, just for you. And what I'll do, guys, I will put the URL in so that you've got it just in front of you. And if you can share this one round, you'll see it come up uh, on all your various pages. If you can share this round, that would be fantastic. So there you are. I shall just copy that and we will post. So it's not copy and paste here, it's copy and post. Robert Brawley's in Rutherglen. Scotty, keep up the good work. Stuart Main, you need a fisherman's friend. Oh, absolutely, don't we all? Kevin Ray's watching. Uh, hearing you loud and proud at the halfway. And Campbell's lying at the halfway. Haven't he heard of the halfway for a wee while? But that is excellent to know. It is still in business. We are in business at the halfway. Right, I'm just going to share again. Uh, that will come up right now, guys. So you'll get that good, wonderful stuff. And uh, I'm also going to, I'll tell you what I'll do, this might help. I'll take the URL as, as well from the video. What about that? So if we paste that, and then if I can nick, do you think I could nick the URL? Would that be a possibility? Or do you think, is that a, is that a bridge too far? Uh, excellent. Let's see what we can do here. This is wonderful stuff. And uh, oh my goodness. Can I not just? This is making history as we speak. Technical history, share it with me, stick with me, do not go anywhere, because this is far better than anything you'll ever get on television. I can tell you that for nothing. I had a swatch at the telly before I came on, and I thought, I think it's time for me to speak to the world, because what's on their telly is pretty poor stuff. So there we are, right. I think I probably have this now. So uh, just uh, there we go. You can hear it coming back. Oh my goodness me! What has happened? Right. right, that's that, and off we jolly well go. Right now, you should get that, folks. That should be coming up as we speak. So there you are, and I shall turn this one off. Uh, I hope you're not getting feedback. So there we are. If you are getting feedback. I do sincerely apologize, and I will put a stop to that now. So there we are. Right, I can see where this is coming from. Do not worry, I shall do that. There, there you all go. How good is that? Right, excellent stuff. Everybody's saying it's absolutely heaven. Uh, I'm just also going to share to the group, uh, the big Scotty McClure group, where we have uh, about approaching 4,000 members. If you'd like to join the Scotty McClure group, do please do so. You're very, very welcome. And what I shall do is I shall just stick that up there. There we are. Share in a group. And uh, I'll get that out to you as well. Scotty, uh, the group is called, so that you've all got it, the Scotty McClure Fan Group for Fans, Discussion and Debate. So there you are. The Scotty McClure Fan Group for Fans, Discussion and Debate. That's just going out to them now. So we will see a reaction from them as well. And uh, I'll also share with another couple of groups. <coughs> and then we can get down to business. Thank you do from Peter Heat. Excellent. Stuart Main's up in Peter Head there. What is this case? Says Gordon Sterling. I don't know, Gordon. You're the one living with it. Uh, Laird George Russell McFarlane. A shout out to me and Mitchell. Scotty boy. Kevin Kerr. Where are the men in the white coats? They're at your door now, Gordon Sterling. Should you let them in or should you not? Oh, the decision making. I don't know. A dilemma, a dichotomy for you, Gordon, young man. So there we are. You shall have to decide. Right, so there we are now. Uh, we'll just get this one sorted as well. See, McClure's a dab hand on the social media. I can tell you that for nothing. Right, so we're sharing in that. And I shall just put on here... Um, Excellent. There we are. Sorted. That's that. And that's that. So this is going out now, guys. We're going out globally across the universe. Scotty McClue live just for you on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Okay. Now, hi from Dundee, says Paula Ryan. Dinky do, Paula. Lovely to hear for you. For Dundee. Are you here to pay? Are you enjoying your sale up there? And um, 
Hi, big Al, says Robert Brawley. All right, Scotty, I was just watching Britain's favourite biscuit. That's why I didn't pay the licence fee, says Ian Walker. So there you are. But you're here now, Ian, and you're watching Scotty McClue. And you don't need a license fee for that. That is dinky do. That's the one everyone's watching. And that's the one everyone is talking about. So the message has gone out there that Scotty McClue is live the new as we speak. Do you know Kirk and Tullock? Yes, Robert, a fine fellow. Tom Johnston House. There you are. Do you remember Tom Johnson, Scotland's uncrowned king? There we are. In the national government with Churchill, dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny right across the floor. It's not just the room, it's the floor, Kieran Fox. And when you get to the other side, shut the door. That's that. Lee Fern's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And Sean McCormick, Paula Ryan. Hey, I'm in Dundee, the news, says Paula. Excellent stuff. Where are you about it? Are you up at the Douglas and Angus? Uh, are you at the Whitfield? So there we are. Excellent stuff. Uh, the opening of the gates of Kirkcaldy tomorrow. And they're letting us out. <laughs> so so I, I don't think they'll be letting you out, Ian Walker. So there you go. But if that's what they've told you, then it will at least give you a good night's sleep. Uh, Alan Morrison. Hi, Fian Verness. So there you are. We like Schnecke, Inverness, where perhaps the best English is spoken anywhere in the world. Did you know that? So there you are, Alan. That's the case. Thornley Bank, Scotty, says Robert Devon. A very fine part of the world. If you ever get the chance, Robert, go into the fish and chip shop in Thornley Bank. So there you are. Alberto's. It's wonderful. Uh, you're at the Mid Craigie, Paula. Excellent. I know the Mid Craigie very, very well indeed. A very fine part of the world. So there you go. Just uh, you're just in at the top of the King's Way. Excellent stuff. Uh, the building's not then uh, there anymore, Scotty. Kirky has nothing. Robert Abercrombie, are you telling me Tom Johnson House is not to the fore? Uh, born and bred, says Paula. Excellent, Paula. A very fine part of the world. Good for you. You'd be opposite the old Timex. Is that right? And the, the National Cash Registers. All these wonderful places. God and Elric's watching. Sorry, Scotty. I lost my connection there. I'm in Shetland at the moment. Heading offshore tomorrow. Uh, the wife's a wee bit ropey. Oh, sorry. Wi-Fi's a wee bit ropey. So there you are. I beg your pardon. I thought you said the wifey. But uh, it's the Wi-Fi. So, excellent stuff. Now, do not worry. You take care of yourself offshore. I hope the weather is with you. I send you love and strength and the protection of the universe. Take care offshore. Thank you for everything you do for all of us. Uh, where's your favourite place in the world to go to relax, Robert Devlin? I think the bath is one of them. There's no doubt about it. So, I tend to calm down in the bath, Robert. It's, uh, that's one of my favourite places. So there you go. Excellent stuff. And uh, Robert Brawley's there. Cheers, buddy, says Peter Martin. No problem at all, Peter. Wait, which part of Shetland are you in? Are you at the Solemn Vaux? So there you go. <coughs> or are you at the Lerwick? Now then, uh, the Shetland fiddles, of course, a little bit higher than your standard fiddle. So there we are. It's a bit like the, is it the Hardinger fiddle in Norway? So there you are. I think there's lots of similarities between Norway and the Shetlands. Marvel stuff. I'm in Sumbra, says Peter Martin. Ah, yes, Sumbra Airport. There we are. Fiona Gibbs is watching. Thank you, Fiona. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, I'm off, Scotty. You take it easy, bud, says Robert. Absolutely, you take it easy as well, Robert. And make sure everybody's notifications are set to receive Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet, broadcasting live on Facebook Live, just for you, Dinky Doo. Excuse me, just a second. We're having uh, just a quick comfort break, marvellous. You'll have seen this in boxing matches. You have to, you know, when they pop their gum shield in and out. Um, so that sort of stuff. So I'm just giving myself a quick, uh, a quick mop down there. Uh, Marvel stuff. We're hearing you loud and clear from the Waxy Islands in the Pacific. Michael Savage Kiernan's watching. Lovely to have you with us. Serious question, Scotty. 
Is enough being done to support parents and their issue in terms of care home allowances? Well, I'm finding that so many of us, Kieran, are going to be living to the age of 100. So that gives me another year. And um, excellent stuff, I say. But uh, we're going to have to work out some way to make sure that everyone is properly supported, if that's going to be the case. People are going to have to keep a lot fitter, cut down on the booze, cut down on the sauce, cut down on fags, and uh, make sure you never, ever, ever take drugs, of course. So there you are. Uh, you've been at the monkey shoulders, Scotty, says Robert. Yes, that's a very dangerous bend in the road. No doubt about it. And also the Devil's Elbow. I've been at the Devil's Elbow. Uh, we're watching from Stirling, says Stuart Anderson. Barley Water, says Robert Devlin. I'm at the Barley Water here, Robert. Mm. That is absolutely lush. Come and join us, folks. You'll never, ever, ever get anything as good as this on terrestrial television. So you're better with Scotty McClue. Um, I was just wondering what happened to the controversy that used to happen when you were on the radio, says Martin Park. I don't know. I mean, I certainly never caused any controversy, but other people did. They used to uh, they used to cause it with me. They used to annoy annoy me and noise me up. So there you are. The controversy is just sitting there, ready to go. We need to get the right platform for it. Of course, there's no point in being so controversial that you get flung off the platform. We don't want that. Scotty, you did a show in Cumberland Theatre years ago. You recorded it. I had the VHS video, but I lost it. You called men and their wife up on stage. Uh, is there any way I can get a copy of it? Can you help? Well, do you know, Michael, people used to laugh because they said, Oh, see your video. Uh, it's going for a fiver in, uh, in, in, in the antique shops and all this kind of stuff. And they laughed and laughed, but they all got snapped up. And it's virtually impossible. Now, I remember ringing a store myself just to see how the sales were going. And um, I phoned anonymously, you know, phoned anonymously and said, uh, did they have a copy of the Scotty McClure video? The manager said, have you just given me a moment, sir? Uh, and I, I, I think it might be quite difficult. And he came back and he said, I have a copy here. Yes. Would you like it? And I said, then... Uh, could you hold it for me? He said, I can't do that. This is a very, very popular video. I've got one copy. It will probably go, um, you know, within the next few hours. So there you are. So very, very interesting. So that's the story of the Scotty McClure video. And we sold thousands upon thousands upon thousands. I remember going to sign them for people. We had a signing uh, in Glasgow and a signing in Edinburgh. Marvellous. So there we go. Um, who else have we got here? Evening, Scotty, says uh, Frank de Pellet. Lovely to have you, FTP. I hope you're well and dinky do. And uh, Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley. Yes, remember that. Who's calling? J.R. Hartley. So there's the Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley. And that actually happened, folks. That is absolutely right. That's my right hand. Right hand up to the big man. That will probably be your stage left so there you are and uh, look back says robert yes oh i'd love to get a copy thanks scotty says michael savage kinnan i think you'll get it uh would you ban smoking in your own house scotty oh i smoking's banned in this house nobody gets uh gets smoking in the house if somebody comes in to do work or anything like that no smoking anywhere near the house so there you go um what i would say to you though that video guys I think you'll probably find um, there's bits of it on YouTube, on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. So have a look around there. There's about 300 videos for your edification and delight on the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Get yourselves up there. Also, Scotty McClure accepts applause or derision on his merits. If you're feeling generous round about Christmas time, ever so humble, Gav, um, and you fancied sticking a quid or a fiver into Scotty McClure's GoFundMe, then that would be great. We've got about 500 quid, and we're looking for five grand to do advertising and uh, to buy little bits of equipment, perhaps a better camera. Might go down well. You're spoiling us this week, Scotty, says Gary Crossan. Yes, I mean, we're spoiling each other, Gary. Uh, what's Santa bringing you, you legend? 
says John McSherry. I'm just wondering about Santa John McSherry. Right? We only see him once a year, and I have worked out why. Think about it. He's elderly. He's a saint. Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Yes. Santa Claus. And um, he has a mince pie and a glass of sherry in every single house. Now, is it any wonder we don't see him for another year? Can you think about that? The other thing is I'm just wondering about the logistics of it because we've got 16 windows and three doors in the house and he comes down the chimney. There you see. It's a thought, isn't it? Uh, should women still drive pink cars and should they be pedal cars instead of electric cars nowadays? Saving the national grid thousands, says Kieran. Do you know when I saw the driverless car come out last week, I thought, issue the women with one of these? And then the roads will change dramatically. Spencer Pryor's watching. Dinky you do to you. Spencer, lovely to have you with us. One of the country's top broadcasters and a great radio man. Uh, spending more time this week than with you with you than with the wife, says Robert. Oh, there you are. You'll be getting a row, Robert. So there you are. The missus will be saying, go on away and watch your new pal. So there we are. Uh, is he from Planet Claus, says John McSherry. Planet Klaus. So they are Santa Claus. Saint Nicholas. Marvellous stuff. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, excellent. So uh, that's the thing. I've actually uh, done Santa myself in my day. Lol, says Kieran Fox. Lol to you, Kieran. If you've just joined us, folks, and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. We're live, Facebook Live, first lord of the internet. So there you are. And we're broadcasting globally right now. We're right around the world as we speak. So make sure you're watching and tell 10 to tell 10, tell 10 to tell 10. If you've got a Facebook account, then watch and share. Very important. How is McClue's Pies? Says so Kenan, excellent McClue's Pies. Have you had a McClue's Pie yourself in your time? It's a, a great pastime. I'm just going to do a little bit more sharing, guys, because I'm just conscious of the time. Yes, quarter to ten. So we haven't got long, guys. Can we do another little share here? Share, 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 share. There we are. That's gone. That's gone on to my timeline. Has it gone on to yours? I wonder. And uh, I'll just share to the pages. So we'll have another one to the Scotty McClue page. Excellent. Scotty McClue page. There's several pages on here, guys. Never, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. And you don't want to do that. It's very, very precious. Are you like Derek Akura? I remember interviewing Derek live on the radio. I'm not like anyone, Bob. Bob Carroll there. Are you like Derek Akura? I'm not like anyone, Bob Carroll. I, uh, I'm Scotty McClue. And that's what we do. And when people ask, they say, what's your show about? I say, watch it and find out. Very, very important. Watch it and find out. So there we are. Can everybody share right now? Share, 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 share. Right click, you'll get the URL there and say, I'm watching Scotty McClue right now. So there we are. Share, 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 share. Excellent stuff. Now, um, is once a week plenty for you of the first lord of the internet? Do you want more of it? You can decide. It's not a problem. I'm sharing with a page called Dinky Hyphen Do. So there we are. I'm sharing on Dinky Hyphen Do. And uh, pink should be banned. Why is it that those who espouse the awful colour generally turn up? Um, so there we are with a huge mobile phone and leggings and a fag hanging out of the corner of there. Doesn't say anymore. Shared. Uh, Pete Price has gone. You're the only one. The properly independent broadcast phone in. Says Kieran, <clears throat> Scotty, what do you think? Should we keep Hamden, the home of Scottish football? The lease runs out next week. I think we should remember Kenny's goal against Spain at Hamden. There we are. Might take it over myself and lease it out to you guys, and you can see what you want to do. So I've just shared to a page called Dinky Doo, and I'm going to do one more, 
I'm shading to scotty-mcclue.com. So there you are. Look for all these pages, guys, because this is the biggest thing on the internet. Scotty McClue, we changed the face of radio 25 years ago, and uh, now 23 years ago in Scotland, 25 years ago on radio, been on national radio, all that, and now we're changing the face of television. Think about it. Be honest with me. Is your television giving you what you want? Can you interact with your television? Uh, a wee heads up. Will you be on tomorrow? Hopefully, yes, says Robert. We'll see what's happening, Robert. Uh, as you know, it's a very busy time of year. What would be your perfect Christmas present, Scotty? Um, to see a little one's face if they were cured of, uh, of uh, some terrible condition that they may have. Something like that. So there we are. That's what I would like. That would be the perfect Christmas present for me. <clears throat> your video is available on Amazon, Scotty, says Alan Morrison. Alan Morrison, is that absolutely right? Is that Jen up? That's very good of you to let everybody know. Fantastic stuff. So there we are. Scotty McClure's video is available on Amazon, guys. And uh, I'm just going to do that. So that's the world's top talk show. Um, so what have we got here? Just me. No making a funny point. I can't see anywhere to comment on your live show, Scotty. I'll work it out eventually. Help them. Tell them where we comment, guys. Put it up here. How's the fox in the garden? Excellent stuff. Your namesake. Uh, you keep sharing. You'll have nothing left. Scotty, no, there's always plenty left. We can always share, 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 share. The feeding, think of the feeding of the 5,000. Think how marvelous that was. The feeding of the 5,000. And although it's a miracle in the, the Bible, if you think about it, it's all possible, guys, to feed the 5,000. It's absolutely possible. Do you like the new wires? What do we think? Thumbs up with the new wires. There you are. For the man in Wilson, don't be a stupid boy. <laughs> there are a touch. There's a touch of the captain manning in there, isn't there? There's no doubt about that. I'll just send this guy a big thumbs up. So there we go. Thumbs up to you, David. That's it. If you can help David, how to comment. No, the dance is on, uh, but it's in the background watching you, Scotty, says Andrew. Do you remember the late night talk show with Mike the Mouth? Loved Mike the Mouth. I was actually there. I was one of the calls uh, to start Mike off, just to give him a little bit of a start. Um, I, uh, When we were rehearsing, I spoke to Mike before he'd even done his first show. And then the two of us got on like a house on fire. And when Mike wanted a bit of time off, he liked to go into the tune and get a little bit of glug glug. And um, when Mike wanted the night off, Scotty would go to Newcastle and sit in for him. Fantastic stuff. And they'd all come on, where's Mike? Where's Mike the Mouth? That sort of stuff. He was amazing. Lovely guy. And um, I think, sadly, um, Mike's no longer with us. But if you ever watch the movie Billy Elliot, you'll see Mike. They filmed it out at Easington. Easington Colony. They are in the northeast. Scotty, three o'clock Christmas Day. What's a good time to be on? Uh, and then we don't have to listen to the wee woman in the gold hat. Uh, no, yo, you want to listen to the wee woman in the gold hat. She is fantastic. Her gold hat has brought billions to this country, Ian Walker. That's something you don't understand because you've got a wee chip on your shoulder. So there you are. Are you relieved that the awful I'm a Celebrity is finished? This game, Fox? No, 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 no. We did um, I'm a Celebrity. We were right up against it and it's still got an audience, I believe, even with Scotty McClue on at the same time. So there you are. <coughs> How's that, that? Are you re relieved? Well, no. I mean, we did our challenges. If you look at program uh, 58, then you'll see Scotty McClure doing challenges at quarter past, half past, quarter two, and the top of the hour. And you'll see me on there doing challenges. Fantastic. Um, I'm a celebrity was the dog, says Peter Martin. Uh, Stephen Weirmouth. Poor Mike passed away, uh, but a Scotty and Mike show would have put the world to rights. We used to do double headers on Century Radio in the Northeast. Mike, when he was on his holidays, would make a point of phoning in to one of the shows. 
and we would chit chat, we would banter. I don't know if there's still copies of it, but it was huge, absolutely huge. So there we are, Scotty McClue and Mike the Muth. Um, a wee gold hat ran a big empire. Now we're becoming a wee colony. Lenny, don't do your own place down the la. Very, very important. Um, so there you are. Uh, Chris Potty's watching, dinky do. That would be great, says Kevin John Fowler. Yes, a Scotty and Mike show. And I'll tell you, another of the great broadcasters was uh, my very good friend Robin Galloway in the morning. And Robin and I used to do a handover on Scott FM. And boy, was that popular, that handover. It was only a few minutes of banter. And um, he was my boy. And I was feather. Uh, so there you are. So you remember that uh, Robin did a wonderful, wonderful breakfast show. Great guy. So that's that. Uh, Scotty, you should do an outside broadcast talking to the public live on Facebook. Ian, if you see, there's 36 seconds of me doing an outside broadcast last Sunday, Sunday just before last day. You'll see that I'm outside just to give uh, people the word. I was just wondering why the police are not out to catch Santa Claus for drink driving. After all, these are alcoholic drinks in folks' houses on Christmas Eve, says Martin Park. I think Martin Santa, if you think about it, he's not driving motorised transport. So he's being pulled by reindeer. He's also not on public roads. He's landing on people's roofs or roofs, right? Roofs or roofs. So there you are. And um, what he's doing there, which is absolutely incredible, is um, he's walking it round the house, down the chimney, back up again, and he's not on public roads. So A, I don't think he'll be a licensable vehicle. He's also from another uh, part of the world. So he's from Lapland. There you are. I met one or two of the dancers. And um, that's, uh, that's what's going on there. So I don't think that the British police have any jurisdiction over Santa Claus as long as he behaves himself and doesn't cause a stushy. Although he does cause a stushy in some houses, doesn't he? Uh, I want that! I want that! Uh, Merry Xmas to you and your family. I hope you have a healthy New Year, says Chris Party. Well, maybe manage to do a wee Scotty McClue Hogmanay bash, Chris, so you can get something going there. Guys, can we have another share, please? Share, 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 share. Very important. Merry like Hector Brocco Bank for HP Fash. So there you are, Laird George Russell McFarlane. That was Robin, absolutely, with his Hector Brocklebank. And um, what else did we have? Old Mrs. Galloway, dear. Uh -huh. So that was that wonderful, one of great entertainer, Robin Galloway. One of, one of the all-time greats, I say. And I'm certainly proud and privileged to have been associated with that show in the mornings on Scott FM. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour. I can say that without equivocation. Um, I'm in the bin, says Peter Martin. Uh, get the button box out. Wonderful. Scotty, do you think Trump will land on the moon? The clangers are building a wall around the moon. <laughs> Fantastic. Spoken to you when you were on Century Radio, says Tim Rigby. Tim, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Was that Century in uh, Newcastle? Century in the Midlands? Or Century in the North East based in Newcastle? Or Century in Manchester. That's why I ask you. Yo, Scotty! I'm back, says Carol Carla Stanley. Carol Carla Stanley was, <coughs> pardon me, I was thoroughly enjoying reading your comments from last night's show. Very, very interesting. Guys, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. I'm the world stop broadcaster. I'm the first lord of the internet. And uh, we're just scratching the surface of broadcasting. So, lovely to be with you. When are you back on the radio, says Ian Turley Sr.? Uh, well, as soon as we can get a, a proper station, I'm talking to people all the time, talking to bigwigs, and uh, we will see what's what. But as you know, a lot of radio stations don't have any personality to them, no personality presenters, and um, they've just got people uh, just saying, that was, this is, particular song, and they've kind of got a jukebox mentality. But... You can't fool all of the people all of the time, I say, and I think that will change at some point. Did Scott FM originally broadcast with the building under the Kingston Bridge? And they had an office up where the Daily Record was, so you would see the Scott FM Glasgow office. 
but they broadcast from uh, number one shed albert key in leith down at leith docks wonderful station thanks for your answers to my questions tonight scotty says martin but not at all martin that's what we're there for we're there to bring people answers scotty McClure is about information education and entertainment hopefully we manage a smattering of all three colin muir's watching uh, scotty McClure under the hat says kieran fox there you are do you like the wires do you like the glasses kieran what do we think there you are the harry potter glasses <laughs> marvelous that's a bit of that uh, you'll struggle because you speak your mind they want robots now says peter martin on radio and television yes they do want robot robots be re robots because they're very worried i think that somebody comes out with facts and there's a lot of the kind of climate around now is an obfuscation of the facts so they are scotty McClure, of course can't help telling the truth and uh, the truth is the truth marvelous stuff love the radio show every night says susan cook uh, so did I, Susan. I think that was it. Somebody came up to me a few weeks ago and said, Do you know, Scotty, what was wonderful about your show was that um, we never knew what you were going to say next. And I said, well, let me let you into secret. Neither did I. So that was fantastic. I remember um, the BBC were in touch and they wanted me to do a show for them. And um, there, was, there was a guy who was quite nervous going, oh, my goodness me, the BBC, I mean, what if you said something? I said, it's a talk show. I will be saying something. And of course, the whole thing about it is I've had one tiny complaint upheld in uh, 33 years of radio and uh, also in um, 36,000 hours of live unscripted broadcasting. What about that? So does that not speak for itself? Is Scotty McClue not the safest pair of hands in British broadcasting today, right now? Uh, better watching the voice only. Oh, sorry, better watching than voice only, says Robert. Thank you, Robert. That's very kind of you. Um, you know, because, I mean, obviously, I'm not the springest of spring chickens. But uh, I have to say, for 82 years of age, I get by, you know. Uh, Scotty McClue, under the hat. Is an idea for you interviewing folk. Yes, there's a wonderful interview going round the net right now. Scotty McClue talks to two T double O grumpy cricks. Broadcast on um, Radio 6 International globally. So there you are, two grumpy critics. And uh, I believe it's actually on YouTube as well. So if you put in Scotty McClue talks to two T double O grumpy critics. And um, they are great guys. They really are fantastic stuff. Um, take over Parkinson slot, says Ian Walker. Do you know, Ian, I can recall we rushed home on a Saturday night from the club or from the pub or from the dance hall to see Michael Parkinson because he was interviewing such huge names. Richard Burton, Billy Connolly, um, David Niven, Kenneth Williams. People like that, you absolutely dashed home to see them. Tremendous. Scotty, you've got the perfect face for radio, says John Kinney. I have. Everybody says that for years, but it doesn't matter. If anybody's got a problem with Scotty McClure, then that's your problem. Okay. The glasses make you look like a Japanese admiral, Scotty. So there we are, Japanese admiral. What does a Japanese admiral look like? So there you are. Okay. Excellent stuff. Straight out of Torah, Torah, Torah. Right, um, I think you should take Piers Morgan's place in the morning, says Tim Rigby. Yes, national television. But if we build up the social media, guys, this will become bigger than any national television in, uh, in Britain or anything like that. So it's up to you. Share, 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 share. If you're a Scotty McClue fan, get on there and share the programs. And um, you're looking great for 32. So, Robert, thanks, Robert. You've knocked 50 years off me there. And <laughs> fantastic. Piers Morgan, one of our great broadcasters, of course, on, uh, on uh, the um, television in the mornings. They are, when do you think Scotty McClure's best? Is it evenings or mornings, right? And I'm asking you this for a reason. It's a wee bit of a loaded 
question, guys. Is Scotty McCoo better in evenings or in mornings? You tell me. When can you cope best with Scotty McClue live? Hey, good evening, Scotty, says Andy Simpson. Dinky you do. Very warm welcome to you. If you've just joined us, did you ever meet Hector Nichols, Scotty? No, I didn't meet Hector, but I heard, um, I heard a lot of his stuff, and I remember him acting in uh, plays. There was one of the, I'm sure it was one of the BBC Scottish plays Hector Nichols played a part in. What time are you on to until tonight, Scotty? Well, time's already tight, guys. It's uh, just coming up to 10 o'clock. In fact, it's probably just gone 10 o'clock. If you get on to Great Yorkshire Radio, you'll hear Scotty McClure's pop-up going out live. www.greatyorkshireradio.co.uk. Listen live right now, and you'll hear Scotty McClure going out. So there we are. Uh, is it a tonics tea cake, a biscuit, or a cake? I can't sleep. For thinking about this, says Ian. Well, we're working out 24 hours live of Scotty, says Robert. Oh, I think that would be quite a lot. That would be a big diet. So there we are. Assisted suicide, Scotty, your thoughts? Says Stephen Weirmouth. One of the um, God's creatures that I loved, loved, loved. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll just have another wee sip. Ah. This is the Lorgy guys that's been doing the rounds, so I do apologise. One of the creatures I loved and loved and loved was Lord Reith, the late Lord Reith, my Labrador, right, who died at the age of 13. And um, he was wonderful. He never missed a Scotty McClure show. He used to get up and shake his collar when the news jingle fired. Uh, what about uh, Community Radio, Scotty? Get a show there. So, um... When I had to say goodbye to Lord Reith, he looked at me as if to say, listen, I'm done, chum. Can you do something about this? He was beginning to get his um, larynx was collapsing and he was having to flop down and recover. He was starting to get thin. He was still eating, but he was starting to get thin and his ribs were starting to show. But he was still wagging his tail like mad. And I had to make that awful decision that any dog owner has to make. And I thought, no, I think, I think it's got to got to be made. All right, chum, come on. And we popped into the car and nipped to the vet. Now, it was only about 15 seconds it took for uh, the good Lord to actually leave this mortal coil. And he didn't really know anything about it. He just put his wee head down and then his eyes shut. And that was that. And uh, that was that was Lord Reith. Now, I don't want to make you sad, but um, I thought 15 seconds. My grandmother suffered terribly you know and uh, from a terminal illness and lost tremendous amounts of weight and would be in a lot of discomfort in those days we were talking back around 1970 and when i think about it i think do you know why couldn't she uh, why did she have to be put through all that why couldn't she have had the 15 seconds so it's a thought like that and you think if i was in that condition would i be able to claim my 15 seconds so it's it's a thought so when you're asking about assisted suicide that's my very honest view on it guys i can't be fairer than that uh scotty would i be correct in saying it was you that found and made your friendly colleague uh robin gallery no 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 robin was a big broadcaster on grampian television north sound radio things like that before he came to scott so no no I can't uh, I can't claim that guys so there you are but I love to help all my colleagues if I possibly can a bit of banter Scotty tell Irene to get the tea on so they <laughs> get the tea on Irene and a wee bit of high dusting wouldn't go amiss I dread the day I'll have to say goodbye to my dog Bella the Rhodesian Ridgeback beautiful dogs Tim absolutely gorgeous I have Clyde the Labrador now of course who's in his 12th year, a fantastic wee guy, um, and also remember the dogs wait for us at Rainbow Bridge, along with all the cats and the budget of gars and uh, the little monkeys and all that. Did you see, it's very moving, on social media, the um, the gorilla uh, with, the, with the old professor, and uh, she wasn't eating. She was in her late 50s, and she saw him, and she just lit up. 
Scotty McClue for Prime Minister, says Laird George Russell McFarlane. Do you know, Laird George Russell McFarlane, I don't know if I'd want that particular post. It's very interesting. When you've had the life that I've had in terms of work, you get a real look around things. And, um, you know, I'm not sure I would particularly want that job. So there you go. Um, or Foreign Secretary or First Lord of the, um, or um, the um, Head of the Treasury, the Chancellor. I was going to say First Lord of the Treasury. First Lord of the Treasury, of course, is the Prime Minister. That's what's on the door of 10 Downing Street. The big brass letterbox, if you look at it closely, can't get close to it now, but you used to be able to just walk up and down Downing Street. But um, First Lord of the Treasury is, uh, is the, the Prime Minister. Prime Minister is really a courtesy title chosen. Um, by the rest of your buddies. Um, so there we go. Uh, do you think Teresa should go on? And who next, says Kieran. Well, you see, Scotland, I mean, I'm not the best person to ask. I think Scotland should go on its own economically. I'm not a political animal, never have been. So I don't go for parties and what have you. But uh, economically, Scotland should get on with it and take back the ground. Margaret Thatcher stripped Scotland of its assets. Where is our shipbuilding and all that sort of stuff along the shores of the Clyde and the Forth and um, Aberdeen as well. Um, I saw the video of the gorilla, amazing stuff. It was heartbreaking and heartwarming all at once. Yes, I mean, we all will um, make that move and pass on at one point, but it's very good to know if you've had a good life, had a great life, and uh, you're leaving the world that tiny little bit better. If I had that job, I could change everything for the better on the first fortnight. I don't you could, Ian, because you see, it's the permanent government that run the show. And they keep the politicians say, on their toes, tooting about. So there we go. Were you for Brexit or against? Well, in actual fact, I thought if uh, the Leave vote was strong, right? Not, not uh, ahead, but strong, then it might uh, help Scottish independence. Uh, but having said that, nobody, I think, predicted um, that uh, would actually believe. And, of course, that was the fact that we might get another $350 million a week for the health service. That was my thinking as well. But, uh, of course, it was all just a lot of nonsense, a lot of hot air, a lot of smoke and mirrors. And I think, I think it's advisory. So I don't think they should be acting on Brexit now. I think they should stay in the EU, rescind Article 15, and, uh, and get on with it that way. That would make a lot more sense. But there you are. Um, so, do you know where Big Al on 4th FM and Real Radio went? I don't, Andy, no. I don't actually know. So, uh, that's my thinking about it. Jim Wilson is watching. Dinky do, Jim. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. One everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. Can we share now? Share, 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 share. Follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. So there you are. Every single one of you who has a Twitter account, follow me on Twitter. Do it right now, or just at the end of the program. If you've got a spare fiver, stick it into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue or paypal.me Scotty McClue a forward slash Scotty McClue Roddy Morrison's watching Dinky Doo Roddy lovely to have you with us uh, Councillor Henry Anderson's with us neither for or against Brexit I just wish people were told the truth so they could decide properly I hope they bin it what they should have done with that is done all the stuff that they've done and then gone to the country now and said right we're thinking, some of us think we'd like to come out of the EU. A lot of it's through xenophobia. Um, and it would cost us about 50 billion quid, maybe eventually even 75 or 100 billion. Who knows? And um, it would involve X, Y, and Z. And if you look at the government pamphlet that was delivered to every house in the country just before the referendum, it urges us to remain in the EU for jobs, for prospects, etc., etc., etc. So the British government, very, very pro remaining in the EU. 
Why the sudden turn? Right? And I, I would say, don't blame it on the people. The other question I would ask you, right, because Scotland didn't get its independence and because the UK didn't get to remain in the EU so far, all right, what do you think of the concept of so-called democracy? Do you think ordinary people have got the knowledge and the ability to make those kind of decisions? You tell me. All right. Good morning, Scotty from Australia. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you and your family from Erica Meyer. Erica Dinky Do. I need to go, Scotty. There's my train. It's the last one to Glasgow Central. Okay, beady beady bum bum. Uh, it was a xenophobia vote, pure and simple. Ian, I think you're quite right. I think um, people were voting out of xenophobia. And remember, there's only about, is it 3% or something like that of minority population in this country. So there's no need for any xenophobia. There's no need for any kind of racism at all, because there is only one race, the human race, and we are all members. I was reading this morning about um, Hubert Parry, uh, a very great musician, the guy that uh, wrote the music for the uh, hymn Jerusalem, uh, for Blake's, William Blake's Jerusalem, that they sing with great gusto in the Albert Hall. And the last night of the prompts, England's green and pleasant land. And uh, he was a wonderful musician, Hubert Parry, but he was very, very sorry. He died just a month before the armistice in the First World War. He died in October 1918, and of course, the armistice was signed in uh, early November, the 11th of November, uh, at the 11th hour of the 11th month. 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, 1918, in a railway carriage. And um, th the whole idea there... Uh, what upset Parry terribly was these wars because the wonderful German culture that was virtually interlinked with British culture at the time. The Brexiteers lied and deceived the gullible public. The government blew smoke up Scotland's backside and then shafted us for independence. Where's the capitalism promised to us? Democracy has gone wrong. So there we are. And um, and he says that the government should hide their head in shame. Neil Holgate's watching. Dinky do, Neil. Lovely to have you with us. Um, we don't have the knowledge at all for any vote, Scotty, not even a general election. I've no doubt there's a handful of politicians with noble intentions, or they start off with principles. But it soon changes, says Stephen Weirmouth. Fantastic. What a lovely name, a lovely northeastern name, Weirmouth. Marvellous. We love it. Right. I think time's up, guys. You've had more than enough of me. If everyone didn't have the vote, then we'd have a dictatorship. Stop the lies and the people will vote the right way. Yes, I mean, I think if a politician is found lying, they should have to resign. There you go. Now, I know that might mean that the House uh, of Commons might be a little bit on the empty side for a while till uh, we replenished it. But I think that's what should happen. It has to be backed up with truth. So there we are. A wee tune from the squeeze box would be fantastic. Ian Hornby is watching. From Weirdale, Scotty, up in the hills. Ah, marvellous. Are you near a place called Garigal? So there we go. And uh, Alston. Am I right? Am I in the right neck of the woods? So there we are. Do let us know. Right. Um... So the Brexiteers are xenophobic, but the Nazis' demands to separate from the country to which we are joined are benign. So there we are. Well, um, the whole thing, William Gates, the reason for Scotland separating would be economic. So there we go. And remember, we've only been with that country for 300 and, say, um, 309 years. So they are 310 years this year. Uh, otherwise, we're independent for thousands and thousands of years. So it's worth a thought. Um. <laughs>
reach into the squeeze box for you. Another squeeze box on fun and Jimmy Shand. <coughs> Jimmy Shand. One of the five. Do you know he was actually the highest selling artist of all time, partly. Check it out. So there you are. Uh, so everything Beatles, Rolling Stones, whole lot, Jimmy Shand. And what does Scotty McClure give you on the radio? Jimmy Shand. Marvellous. <coughs> Jimmy Shand. Fantastic. And uh, Sean Higgins is watching Dinky Doo. You've watched me in Periscope playing the piano, says Daniel Roberts. Yes, absolutely, I have, Daniel. And uh, you've probably watched me playing the piano. There we are. Need to shoot Scotty a catch a little, says Michael Savage Kiernan. Lovely to have you with us, Michael Savage Kiernan. Now, guys, share, 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 share. Never, ever, ever give up sharing Scotty McClue, all right? Because we're building the world's top talk show. We're building proper broadcasting. No bias, no agenda, no funny business. Proper broadcasting for you, for the people. Okay. Uh, Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure, says Sean Higgins. Night, night. Uh, Scotty, says Andrew Mackay. Give us a bit of Maddie's wedding, Scotty. Goodbye, Scotty, says Carl Carlos Donnelly. Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure. I like it says Daniel Roberts. Dinky do to every single one of you. Take a bow, Scotty. I do, I do, I do. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you all again soon. Have a fabulous week. Enjoy the broadcast. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure and Facebook Live just for you. And of course, set your notifications, guys, to let you know when Scotty McClure is broadcasting. Very important. Good job tonight, Scotty, says Carol Carlos Stanley and Dinky Doo to every single one of you. I think it's time for the song. Are you ready for the song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we say no revoir. And a cheery o. Have a fabulous day tomorrow. Have a lovely, lovely week. Uh, I've watched you through Periscope. So there you are. Tell 10 to tell 10. This is Chris Proctor. Thanks again to Robert Devlin. Jimmy Shand. His career started in a wee music shop in Fife. He, yes, that's right. He was from East Weems, wasn't he? He was self-taught and became the man he was. An MBE and a big miss to Scottish country music. You're absolutely 100% correct, Liam George Russell McFarlane. A wonderful man, Jimmy Shand. And uh, Peter Martin gives us the thumbs up. Good night, guys. Take care of yourselves. Know the song. Know the song, sir. Ian Walker, away you go. And bow your head, as we used to say. Away and raffle yourself. Night, Scotty, says Jim. Night, guys. Dinky Doo. This is Scotty McClue. Sing Dinky Doo just for you. Scotty McClue has left the building. Oh, yes. <laughs>